Hi everyone, this is a lesson from my course that I released recently. The link is in the description below if you're interested. But without further ado, uh, let's get on with it. So for this lesson, we have a really simple morph transition and this is how it looks. So for this transition to work, ideally, you would have a similar scene and similar camera movement. You can have a similar subject, which is what we will have in this lesson, but you don't actually have to. You can make it so that completely different thing morphs into another. So it really depends on your scene and the context of your transition. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so we have two clips, both are 1080. So let's drag them on the composition. Let's check out the first clip, which is the taxi. And then underneath, we have a really similar clip, which is just a regular car. First of all, let's put the clip uh, that will be first to the bottom. So let's find a place where we have a really similar angle. So I think the side angle would be perfect. And let's find it in the taxi. So this would be right about here. So let's drop the opacity to 50% of the top layer. Let's drag a little back. And while the angle is really similar, you can see they are in completely different part of the frame. So what we have to do is select both clips, press S for scale and bring it up to maybe 115. We might adjust it later. So now we want to change the position in such a way that they will be almost completely overlapping. Let's push the top clip to the right as far as we can without interfering with the frame. Change it to position as well. Let's push the taxi back. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We can scale the taxi even just a little more. I think 120 should be enough. Yeah, I think that's good enough, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Let's trim the top layer, hold Alt and left bracket to cut the layer in that place. Let's increase the opacity to 100. And this is how it looks without any morphing. Let's trim the composition just a little bit, trim the comp to work area. And so yeah, I think even without any morphing, this looks pretty good. So this is a state where you want to begin morphing. That would be the most effective one. Okay, so what we want to do is maybe go two frames back. They should still look quite well. Let's first drop down the opacity again to 50% of the top one and add liquify tool. For the morph to look good, we want to do two things. First one is animate the opacity from zero to 100 on the top layer. And second of all, at the same time, we want to animate the distortion from 100% to zero on the top one and from zero to 100 on the bottom one. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, so we have the top layer selected, which is the black car. So on the top layer, we want to first match the shape of the car to the taxi. So we have our liquify tool. Let's click the, I think that's called the warp tool. We can adjust the brush size and brush pressure here so we can make it bigger. Let's match the wheels to match these of the taxi. Same with the rear ones. It will never be 100%, but the closer the better. Let's now push the roof. We can make it even bigger. Let's match the windshield and the hood, the bottom of the fender, push the lights just a little bit. So I think that's good enough. And this is how our layer, the top layer looks now. And what we're going to do is animate this distortion percentage from 100 
to zero. So let's put a keyframe right here, go maybe four, five frames, really depends on the shot. Bring it back all the way to zero. Now, temporarily, we need to bring down the opacity again to 50 to see what we're doing. Again, add liquify to. So now we want to match the taxi to the top car. And again, this is one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's move that keyframe here. So let's match taxi to the top car. Increase the brush size and We did pull some of the edge towards the car, but it won't matter right here because right about here, the top layer opacity will be at about 100%. So that's all good. If we see that as an issue, we always can add the motion tile effect before that. So just in case we have a solution. Okay, so again here, we will end at 100% and we want to start at zero. So all that's left, we need to animate the opacity from zero to 100 on the top layer. So press the stopwatch, bring it down to zero, and here, bring it back to 100. And yeah, let's see how it looks. That's pretty neat. Again, you can do this in multiple scenes, just like I showed you in the beginning. And yeah, so basically sky is the limit. Good luck and have fun. See, told you that was easy. Meanwhile, don't forget to sign up for the free webinar I'm hosting. The link is in the description below. It's called top 10 things you can do in After Effects as a filmmaker. But yeah, that's it. Hit me up with any questions you may have and I'll see you in the next one.